Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion. And this is Kingdom Come Deliverance. Oh, a rooster feather. Ho ho! I don't think I need that, though. Um, so yeah, it is nighttime. We are in Sasau. Uh, the southern area. I'm starting to think what I may do is fast travel back to Ledechko because it's dark, it's nighttime, and uh, we can't do anything here while it is dark. So, if we come over here, well, of course it takes us on a route that we haven't been before. Yeah, it'll be morning by the time we get back to Ledechko, and then uh, we can perform our duties. Haha, -ha, duties. And um, help this lady to get rid of the ghost. Alright. New level in reading and a new perk available. That's good. Uh, that was a maintenance book as well, I'm pretty sure. I'm back with the incense. Aha. Can we begin? Good. Let's go to the cross in the bedroom. I guess we were just there too early. Okay. Uh, drop in the herbs then. Well, what are you waiting for? Uh, I feel a bit out of my depth. This is my first time. <laughs> now you tell me. Well, get started. You've got the flowers, so it has to work. <coughs> well, here goes. Uh, yeah, Latin. Pater noster quiest incarnis sanctificator omen tuum. Are you sure you're saying that right? Yes. Yeah. You mustn't be interrupted. In nominate parties et filius et spirits et cetera. Et cetera. <laughs> Uh, man, we should have probably done this in English. Ave Maria, gratia, plenty, dominatrix tecum. Burn the herbs. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O Lord, may he rest in eternal peace. And may eternal light guide his way. Amen. That's Amen. more like it. There we go. That sounded more sincere, by far. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Please God, I can finally sleep in peace at night. Come by tomorrow to see if it works. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm leaving. I'm skipping town. Let's let's go. What? You, you, you fucking sodomite! What? What are you talking about? I don't even. Sodomite. Oh, missed. Gone weak at the knees, have you? Have you? And he doesn't look... Wow. Okay. One Groshen. Sure. Some more wine. Cheap wine. Sure. He wasn't a bandit. He was just drunk. He was just super wasted was all. Big fool. Call me a sodomite. I'll show him what port. I mean, maybe it is. Miller. Good health to you. Oh, sure. Is there any work you could do? Hmm, that depends. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've got a bit of a problem. I'm listening. We've got a human captive we pulled out of the river. What? I've an idea what to do with him, but I 
I need a little help. I have my own plans for him, but I need a bit of help. Do you happen to know what to, what to do with him, or do you need a little bit of help? How did you do it? It's not every day a miller's helper catches an enemy of the crown. That's true. My hands will be more than happy to tell you how they caught him. Okay. Uh, does he belong on the gallows? Maybe. Maybe. I'll help you. I've got some unfinished business with the Cubans. I'm guessing you're from Scalitz then. <laughs> I am. Very well then. I plan to question the bastard and find out where he hid all the plunder he's been taken. Okay. I'm guessing you want to return all that loot to its original owners. <laughs> Very funny. So, are you going to help me or not? That was pretty good. Alright, I'll see. Alright. I'll get it out of him. Do you speak Hungarian? No. I don't. <laughs> then you won't get anything out of him. But if you want to help, you can. A little down the river is a mill. The men said there's a vagrant there who swears in Hungarian when he's playing dice. You could go there and find out if he knows any more than curses. Okay. Alright. I can handle it. Thanks. Yeah, I'm not sure, uh, not sure if I have time right now, but, I mean, I could give it a try, I guess. Yeah. Do you know how the blacksmith does his tempering? You'll have to ask him yourself. I help him out here and there, but I could never do his work for him. Well, thank you. My pleasure. Why is the blacksmith muttering nonsense to himself? Has he been in the sun too long? <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Just a silly little rhyme for his work, to time it right. Oh, I see. I thought he was delirious. No, he's like that all the time. <laughs> he's always delirious. Oh, repeat it to the other guy, huh? I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Oh, well, you know. They say you're the best blacksmith in the whole region. That metal you've tempered never breaks. Ha! Ah, nothing but old wives' tales. Of course, some of my pieces are broken, but only ever here, at the smithy. No one's ever returned anything for you to rework, though, have they? Not that I recall, but I can't remember everything. Well, there you go. Uh... Yeah. I understand. I remember... Father always heated up the iron until it was bright red, just starting to turn bright yellow. The furnace hummed gently and glowed, and then the water hissed. There was sweat on our foreheads, too. <laughs> Fine words, and no mistake. I do it a little differently. Ah. I heat until the metal is two, three shades short of bright yellow. I ease up on the bellows, and after a Lord's Prayer and a Hail Mary, off it goes into the water. It's, um... It's strange to think that I'll never help him out with it again. Our forge will stay burned out forever. Unless I go back to the trade myself. It would be a shame not to, lad. Working iron is a worthwhile thing. Oh, yeah. Godly. It makes life easier for folk. And, let's be honest, you can make a decent living doing it. There you go. <laughs> That's true. Okay, yeah. Is that it? Is that all? There's nothing else you do with it? Well, that depends. I heat it up again after that, but not so it starts to glow. I just hold it like this at the edge of the furnace for a while, and then quench it again. You quench twice? Yes, although there's less quenching needed the second time, it doesn't get quite so hot. And how does that help? I don't rightly know. I found out about it by chance. Hmm. I got caught short, needed to piss so bad, I left the rod resting by the furnace by mistake. That's how I found out if you quench twice, it doesn't break as easily. 
have no idea why, but I've tried it enough times to know it works. There you go. Wow. I heard you reciting something just then. What was it? None of your bloody business. And you'd best be off if you're not here to buy. Uh huh. Okay. He was uh, super nice to me there for a little while. I'd like to ask you about the tempering process. And I'd say I've nothing much to tell you. You just need an eye for it and a furnace. Let's stop talking about tempering. <laughs> okay, he's got to say the same thing again, right? I'd like to ask you about the tempering process. And I'd say I've nothing much to tell you. You just need an eye for it and a furnace. Let's stop talking about tempering. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. I don't know why he got so defensive. Uh, this... Yeah, that's strange. It's very strange. It said that I failed to uh, recite the ditty, so maybe asking him about it um, set him off where he's not going to repeat it. I don't know. Let's see. Tricks of the trade. Word of the tempering process. Okay. Just need an eye for it and a forge. Fine. Okay, let's go find out about this crown then. Good health to you. And also with you. The Lady of Talmberg sent me. She wants me to find out why the crown's been delayed. Uh, through no fault of ours, I can tell you that. We had a large stone ordered for mounting on the crown. A beautiful Moldavite from South Bohemia that we had cut and polished in Prague. But, well, uh -huh. in short, the good merchant, Martin Vizek, who was supposed to bring it from Prague, got lost along the way. It's like the ground swallowed him up. Uh-oh. Lady Stephanie won't be happy. Uh, look, we've got something else here we can replace the stone with, but I'm sure even you can see it's not worthy of a noble wedding, and definitely not worthy of our fine craftsmanship. Oh, if I only had someone who'd try to find the Moldavite. Okay. Why don't you just ask me? Of course I'll try to find the stone. Just tell me where the fellow was seen last. That fellow, as you call him, the esteemed merchant, Martin Vizek, <laughs> was last seen riding alongside the Sassal River, passing by the footbridge over the ford, to the west of here. Evidently, he never made it to Sassau town. Mm. Mm. Well, I'll look for him, but he could be far over the mountains by now. Or under the ground. Yeah. It sounds like, uh, sounds like bandits to me, but I could be wrong. Alright, I'm just gonna sleep in your bed. No, I'm kidding. Uh, there were a bunch of places to check out around. Good grief. What in the world is this? Are you a baker? He is a baker. Oh. I don't want to pickpocket him. I thought I was able to talk to him there for a second. But no. Okay. Okay. That's a miller there. Fast travel point. I hear tinkering. Grindstone. Yeah, another blacksmith. Holy cow. Ah, butcher. There's nobody I ever, ever talked to. Alright, let's head west then, young man. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, this doesn't look pleasant. And off into the woods we go. Already? Oh, man. I am drunk. All 
Alright, where is the lookout? I heard him holler, but I don't see him anywhere. It's got to be another bandit camp, right? Because regular folk don't just murder an esteemed merchant, Martin Volzuriak, or whatever his name was. Oh, I see their cooking pot. Oh man, I'm going to be rubbish with a bow like this. See if I can get a better. Hey, who's there? I don't see anybody. We got here? Oh no. Entertainment, great. Over here. Where is everyone? Quick. Oh come on! I had to hit Alarm! him there. Gone weak at the knees, have you? To arms! Get, get over up. here! Whoa. All right. Can we can we not crouch, please? Ouch. Ow. All right. Oh no. Okay. My uh don't beat you. My dang shield is not on me. Oh, come on. This is not going well. Uh, I'm getting shot at too. You horse son. Think so. Oh. I can take down Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Okay. One down then. Oh, he's got an axe. that I'm going to there you go good grief oh I did not do very good there I'm not even gonna try to pretend to lie They were the only two, right? Okay. It always hangs on to my combat status for so much longer than I feel like it should. Okay. It was only two dudes, too. I feel like I could have gotten uh, a lot better. Yeah, this is stealing for some reason, even though he's already dead. That's okay, though. Oh, it's only an easy lock, anyway. I figured it was going to be a, a key to a very hard lock. Since it's easy, I'm just going to take the experience points for unlocking it. An armor kit, good. Too bad it's not for tailoring. A French altar candle? It's not worth anything. Flemish cloth, glass goblet. Here's the Moldavite. A silver goblet, we'll take that. Wool fabrics. A glass chalice? I don't know. It looks semi... semi fancy. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> I wasn't exactly what I was trying to do. That's all right. He needs to regain stamina anyway. Oh, 
Monastery Courtyard. That must have been one of the undiscovered locations then. About that Moldavite we discussed. Yes. Do you have some news? Uh, yep. Found yes. it. Yes. Uh, the good news is I found Vizek. That sounds like cause for rejoicing, but how come he isn't with you? That's the bad news. He didn't survive. Merciful God. He was a good and highly respected man. I will pray for his soul. Anyway, let me see the stone. <laughs> anyway. would be so kind. Uh, yep. Okay. Of course. Here it is. Excellent. It looks undamaged. I'll get straight to work. You can come for the finished crown tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening. Okay. Fine. So that means I have to stick around here and figure out something else to do. Uh, well, no, we have to go back to, uh, Lidechko tomorrow, which is fine, but then we have to be back here tomorrow evening. Okay. How many mills do they need? That's my question. Oh, is an herbalist here? It's good to note. It doesn't show up on my compass, uh, which is kind of annoying, but that's okay. Oh, he's inside the wall somewhere, I guess? There's something over in this corner as well. I don't know if I can reach it from, from this corner. Oh. Why'd it go all creepy? Y'all hear that creepy music? Very hard lockpick. Okay, not worried about that then. It might even be on the other side of the... ...wall there. This guy's not wearing any pants! How's it going, friend? Master Carol? I hope I can be of help to you, knight. It's probably Carl, or something like that. I hear there was an accident caused Carrel? by weak stone. I'd like to have a look around. I can't have someone just nosing around here. But I... Go and see the Overseer. He's in charge of everything around here. He's usually in his study above the gatehouse. If he says you can poke around, then I'll leave you be. Okay. Is this the gatehouse? Because that would mean he's up here. Overseer. Overseer's hand. You look like an entire person, though. Not just a hand. Anyway. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Well, you're not going to be too happy about it. I've come in the name of Sir Divish. I'd like to have a look around the spot where the accident happened. And why is Sir Divish interested in that regrettable accident? He'd like to know what role the masonry had in it. Or at least its quality. I guess it played a crucial role. But I don't intend to stand in the way of your investigation. I've already made sure the poor man was well taken care of, and that's enough for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Who's in charge of purchasing materials for the construction? Mainly it's me. I pay the fees and make arrangements for delivery. But those in charge of the actual building take care of the rest. I'm not knowledgeable when it comes to the quality of stone. They had the red stone delivered from a long way off. They take care of storage as well. Yes, but usually whatever arrives is used up straight away. The construction is in full progress. Do you remember when they brought the last delivery of stone? Yes. It rained a lot that week, so they let the carriage sit right outside of the gate on the other side of the wall. It took some time before it was dry enough for further transport. And there wasn't anything strange about it? A little strange, I suppose. Usually they bring us a large block of stone, which the builders cut to size. But this time it was a number of smaller pieces. No one complained. They probably saw it as less work. Hmm. That sounds a little strange, though. I heard that you were late with your payment to the Talmberg Quarry. That's true. We ourselves had late payments, and it took some time before we gathered enough money to pay. But that's happened in the past. Yeah, that happens a lot in construction. Okay, so they've got a 
a few easy locks, a hard lock. Oh, you guys wouldn't happen to be leaving for lunch, would you? Off on your way to go do something important? No? You wouldn't be happening to uh, take a nap, would you? No, you're just going to sit there and stare at the wall? That makes perfect sense. Yeah, I'll bet you do that uh, all the time. Huh? Oh, man. Oh, it is stealing. Maiden's War 1. Oh, I want to read so many books, but I can't. Oh, this is a hard lock as well. Alright. It's not against the rules for me to be in here. Which is pretty cool. Let's see, this is a hard lock. Nice. This should be giving us a lot better XP. Oh, uh, I don't need these things. Why do I take them? Don't ask me. Oh, that's another bench that I thought was a chest. Oh man, don't even ask why. Oh, so much experience. Okay. A herbalist, okay. Johanka? Talk. Okay. Johanka? Oh! Henry? This is the girl that I'm warned us about you. the catch pole when we were Me too. redecorating I Deutsch's house. I heard that you're doing well. Well, that depends. You're alive. So you're doing well. <laughs> Good point. What's happening here? Oh my god. Philip and. They're all. Yes. Where do you think the wounded ended up? Actually, uh, I had no idea. Well, now you know. Me and Nicodemus have, an have arrow been sticking trying to out my shield. under control since Scalettes was raised. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Oh. Um, so can I help at all? Certainly. We can always use an extra pair of hands here. And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. They took me to Ratai unconscious, and I needed a healer. Hmm. How is everyone holding up? What can I do? Holding up? People here are dying, usually needlessly, and I can't do anything about it. We don't have enough food or space or anyone who's willing to help us. Hmm. Yeah, this is a, uh, a monastery. Doesn't the monastery care for them? They give us some food for them and a place to sleep, but I wouldn't say they help exactly. More like they just tolerate us. That sounds... sounds about like how it goes. Do you have enough food? Enough to survive, maybe. But convalescents need feeding up. Maybe True. if I brought some meat, some game, that would strengthen them up. That would be a great help. Awesome. Okay. We can do that. Anything else you need? Look around. Okay. Well, it is a little crowded. Crowded? I've had to leave some of the sick lying in the open air, even at night. And have you seen what they're lying on? Hmm. I'll try to negotiate better conditions with the monastery. I tried that. Out loud. They just nod their heads, but don't move a muscle. Hmm. Hmm. Very well. Okay. 
Yeah. Doesn't anyone help you with nursing these people? You've got scholars all around you. <laughs> scholars, maybe. But they leave the healing up to God. Ouch. Nicodemus is trying, but everything he knows is from his books. Okay. Can I have a look at them myself? I know a little about healing. Do you now? And what would you do if you burnt yourself at the forge? First, you have to cool it down with water. Marigold ointment helps, and it's better if you don't bind it and let it breathe. Hmm. You do know what you're talking about. Looks like blacksmiths know about more than just pulling teeth. <laughs> pulling teeth? Nothing to it. As long as you don't squeeze the pincers too hard and crush them. That's right. Well, That's right. go and see if anyone needs anything. Just don't go pulling anyone's teeth. Hey, what if they need it, though? You know? And how are you doing? You're the only woman here, alone in the monastery. <laughs> Some of the monks speak to me, but other people act like I don't exist. Too bad the custodian isn't one of those. Is uh -oh. the custodian causing you problems? All the time. Apparently he has a wife somewhere, but that doesn't stop him. He's constantly strutting around in front of me. And, um, what else? What do you mean, what else? <laughs> He's invited me to his home. Wow. I could do something about it, if, if you like. <sighs> no, I can deal with him. The last thing I need is you going around threatening people. It won't help me, and it definitely won't help the refugees. Okay. She probably has a point about that. Why is there a guard outside? He's here because of me. Because of you? Yes. There was one time I just had enough of it all, of the way they treat us, and I almost slapped one of... But that doesn't matter. Okay. What can you tell me about the custodian? He's supposed to be in charge of all the guards and the security of the monastery. But really, he has a say in pretty much everything, including supplies. Hmm. And that's why he probably thinks he can do whatever he wants. Okay. All right, that's all I need to know. Look, Henry, I know I can speak harshly, but I'm at the end of my tether. Yeah, Last sounds week, like Bohuslav it. died. Maybe you knew him. And nobody even blinked an eye. We desperately need help. I'll do whatever's in my power. Tell me more about the situation here. Okay. <laughs> all right, that's all I need to know. All right. Well, that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. So, if you want to catch the next one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.